How's it going, tiny little hot dog cuties? Today, I'm going to be going over 15 awesome facts about Shameless that you probably haven't heard about. You see, Shameless is one of those shows that I thought I wasn't going to like, but then my friend recommended it to me, and I was like, you know, why not? I have three weeks to kill during my winter break, so let's go ahead and watch some of it. And after I started watching it, I blew through the first three seasons in a matter of days. And what I really love about the show and the reason why I think so many people actually like watching the show is because of how real and raw it is when it comes to living in underserved, underprivileged communities. Shameless isn't afraid to show how deep and dark it is with also providing some really good plot points and laughs along with the show. That's why I think it's so unique. I mean, the show is already on its eighth season. It's running right now. It's about to end, but it's been renewed for a ninth season, so it's not going anywhere for a while. So today, as a way to honor the coming end of the eighth season and the renewal of the ninth season, I want to give 15 facts to you guys about the show that you probably haven't even heard about. And not gonna lie, there are minor spoilers in these facts, so please make sure that you've actually watched the show a good deal, probably up to season three. And with that little disclaimer, let's begin. Number one. You probably have noticed that the character of Mandy Milkovich actually had changed from season one to season two. And that's primarily because season one actress who played Mandy, Jane Levy, got a lead role in the show Suburgatory and she had to, she had to basically stop her role in the show so she can do Suburgatory. So they replaced her with Emma Greenwell from season two and onwards. Which Mandy did you guys prefer? Personally, I like season one Jane Levy Mandy more, but that's because she had a really good chemistry with Ian and I really like the connection that she had with Ian and I really treasured it. So when she, when Emma Greenwell was introduced to the show, I was like, okay, this is a little different, but I do believe that they casted her really well still because Emma did a terrific job with her chemistry with uh, Jeremy Allen White who plays Lip. And as you know, the story, later on goes away from Mandy and Ian to Mandy and Lip. On talking about Mandy and Lip, the two actors of the two characters, Emma Greenwell and Jeremy Allen White, actually dated in real life for a time, which kind of paralleled their relationship on the show. Let's just hope their relationship wasn't as destructive as it was in the show. Fact number three, Cameron Monaghan, who plays Ian on the show, has actually had some really interesting roles outside of Shameless. He's actually appeared in one of my favorite animated series of all time, Avatar The Last Airbender, as t twins Poi and Ping. They appeared briefly on the show, but that's still pretty cool. And also currently he he's playing Jerome Valeska in the series Gotham, which is supposed to be like the predecessor of the Joker. And seriously guys, I haven't seen Gotham, but I watched the clips that Cameron Monaghan portrays Jerome Valeska, and I have to tell you, it's absolutely amazing. Go out on YouTube and look at some clips because he does the Joker very, very, very well. Number four. Although the series takes place in Chicago, all the interior shots are filmed in Los Angeles in a studio, while the exterior shots are actually filmed in Chicago. Fact number five, there's actually no scripts allowed on set, so actors actually have to memorize their lines before they actually go into filming. No pressure whatsoever. Fact number six, you may have noticed that the cigarette brand that Frank and some of the other characters take cigarettes out of look like Marlboro Reds, but they're technically not. They're called Morley's. And Morley's Cigarettes is actually a fictional cigarette brand, which is kind of like a gag in Hollywood because a lot of shows and movies tend to feature Morley's. Some examples of shows that featured Morley's before include Weeds, Californication, and The X-Files, and many, many, many more. Number seven, Joan Cusack actually took on the role of Sheila after actress Allison Janney dropped out of the show. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Sheila is one of my favorite characters in the show, and I'm really glad that Joan Cusack took on that role because she does a phenomenal job at her. Number eight, 
After the announcement of the ninth season, Shameless became the longest running show on Showtime history ever. Number nine, Justin Chatwin, who plays Steve slash Jimmy, and Emma Rosen, who plays Fiona, actually starred in a movie together. It was called Dragon Ball Evolution. If you've never heard of it, it was absolutely terrible. But Justin played Goku and Emma played Bulma. And you know what? I like to think that Shameless is the redemption story. Number 10, if you watch the opening segment throughout the first four seasons, you realize that Joan Cusack is always quoted as special guest star, but she's been a series regular until the time she left the show. Number 11, before Shameless appeared on Showtime, it was actually supposed to run on HBO, but then Showtime bought it out. Number 12, the opening theme song of Shameless is actually the song called The Luck You Got by indie rock group The High Strung. Number 13, near the end of the first season, Steve asked Fiona to go meet him at O'Hare International Airport so that they can go away to Costa Rica. However, later on in the episode, you notice that he's actually waiting for her at Midway International Airport, which are which is the other airport in Chicago that does international flights. Another big discrepancy in Steve's plotline and character is when later on in season three, the mob boss that has his vice grip on Steve asks him to go find a real job. And then later on, you see him looking at odd jobs in the local newspaper. However, this doesn't really make much sense because if we watch season one, we know that Steve dropped out of medical school, which means he has to hold at least a bachelor's, especially in the US because you need a bachelor's to go on to medical school. Steve could have slightly easily found a relatively well-paying job without needing to actually revert back to stealing cars. And then he got his finger broken like, like a stupido. And finally, for number 15, you may have noticed from season two to season three, Steve Howey, the actor who plays Kevin, actually lost a ton of weight. And that's primarily because he wanted to get healthier and he also had a compressed vertebrae which was causing him a lot of pain, he couldn't walk. So that was when he realized that he needed to make drastic health decisions in order to better his life and he did. So good on you, Steve. So there you have it guys. Those are 15 cool, awesome facts about Seamus. Do you guys have any other facts that I may have not discussed in this video? Feel free to write them down in the comments. And also if there are any plot holes that I that you, that you guys noticed that I didn't cover. And also, Happy New Year everybody. Let's start this year with a bang. I hope you found this video entertaining. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this video, and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys.